Muy bien, guys. Hi, Cesar. ¿Qué tal? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, how are you today? Good evening, Cesar. Fine, thank you. And you? Creo que no quieren, no quieren, no quieren darse a conocer ahora. <laughs> no. <laughs> ¿Cómo están? Aquí estamos. Fine, thank you. Uh, all right, fine, thank you too. Emerson. Hi, hello. ¿Cómo estamos? Boring. Emerson is boring. Hi, Elvis. What about you, Cesar? Fine, thank you. Cansado. Yes. Cansado, desvelado. ¿Qué tal con la muela? Ya, yeah, bien, gracias a Dios. Fine, thank you. Qué bueno. Uh, ya estamos tranquilos. Ya. Gracias a Dios, ya me deshice de esas babosadas. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Y a Leli, chicos, ¿alguien sabe algo de ella? No, la llamaron. Ah. No te creo. Hello, sí. hello, guys. Hi. En serio. Hi, teacher. Hey, hi. Welcome hi. to everybody to your English class. So, how are you today? Hi, ready? teacher. Good evening. Thank hi. you. Hi. Welcome. So, ready to speak English? Yes, I'm ready. That's awesome. So, welcome to all of you guys for being part of this incredible class because yes. the main purpose about this class is that we can also practice and improve our English level, especially the farming skills. Is one of the best goals that we have for this class. It's beautiful. <laughs> Evening. So I just want to ask you before we start. start I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, someone said que something. Si puede, que si puede hablar un poco más despacio, teacher. La verdad que todos nos quedamos en la luna. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. You get adaptive. You get adaptive because si that is ahí que, que digo. <laughs> Don't worry. It's because it's natural. So, guys, how was your day? Okay. Bye. Oh. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Was busy, relaxed. How was it? Very busy, teacher. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Sometimes happens. Very nice. But the most important is that we are motivated, especially if we are busy or not. So before that we start the class, I just want to ask you what we studied yesterday. Can you tell me? Because I forgot it. What we did in the class? Tell me, tell me. So that um, um, relative pronouns. Excellent, pronouns. amazing, amazing. What else? What else? Who wish? Mm -hmm. That who see whom? Okay. Nice, nice. What else we did? Or oh, what did we talk about? But what feature, what features people uh, look for in a partner? Ah, okay. Okay, that sounds interesting. Okay, congratulations guys for that one. And we gave the introduction about the activities. And let me present right now the activities for this class, okay? So, Okay, did you see the presentation that I sent it to you guys? Uh, ¿Vieron la presentación que les compartí en el grupo? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Only Thank song. you. <laughs> Because no. I don't have time for a read. <laughs> okay, I imagine. But, well, let's try Oh, that's right. Uh, that, that's important. Okay, so, yeah, you gave a great, a great um, explanation about the, the activities. Uh, you, you, you well explained about it. So, let me show you here the topic for this class. 
And what's the topic? Who wants to help me to read the topic? What's the topic? Help me. Adverbial clauses. Okay, adverbial clauses. And what's the meaning about clauses? Clauses are uh, sentences. That's the meaning about clauses. When we are connecting sentences, one sentence and the other sentence, so we combine the, the sentences and especially joined by an adverb. So let's start. And we have an ideal people. Okay, who wants to help me to read the instruction about this activity? It says a group work. Who wants to do it? Who wants to help me to read it? Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay, group work. What is the ideal parent, friend, or partner like? What is one quality each shall have and one quality each shall not have? Complete the chart. Wow, sounds very interesting. Thank you so much, Santiago, for Welcome. bringing this information. So we actually see this one. What is the ideal parent, friend, or partner like? So we are like describing the ideal person. And especially we're talking about important people in our life, like my parents, my friends, my partner in my job. So we always talk about it. And what is one quality? Each, each one should have one quality. It should not have and complete the chart. So before that we go on to this part, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. We're going to talk about some personal qualities. How do you say in English, eh, amable? How do you say in amable? Friendly. I'm sorry? Friendly? Friendly? No. Oh, oh kind. 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 Okay, look at the chat. Look at the chat because you will see the vocabulary there. Okay, so we say kind in English. How do you say in English, amable? Kind. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's great. Yes. How do you say in English, amigable? Friendly. Friendly. Excellent. That, that's, a, that's an important quality. And how do you say... Um, uh, how do you say in English, eh, respetuoso? Eh, how do you say respetuoso? Respectful. Okay, you say respectful. No, no, please. Respectful. Um, respectful. Okay, how do you say and um honest? Honest. 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 You know, honest. 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 Yes. And also, honesty is important. You know, a person who is honest, you know, always says the truth. And uh, there are some important qualities that the person should have, especially um, when we're talking about personalities. And how do you say also, there are some more qualities like, um, let's see, how do you say puntual in English? Punctual. Yes, that's punctual. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So there are like great positive qualities to the person you have. And especially we um we always have some important qualities. Okay, let's continue with some other examples about that one. Okay. And that your microphone, please. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, don't worry about it. How do you say in English la palabra eh, leal? Loyal. That's uh -huh. right. So loyal, it's um, it's a very, very valuable. And also, how do you say humilde? Mm -hmm. Modest. Humilde? Modest. Humble. Humble. No. Humble. Okay. Uh -huh. So that, that, that makes sense to me, right? So it's very important. Also valuable, we say humble. Humble. Yes, humble. And what we call humility, right? It's it's important, honesty. And 
always a person who is humble can help us to be better and and also there are some more qualities that we can also take into account okay what can i say help me with that one because you are very very smart and also you know about some other qualities um when we say in in spanish una persona que ayuda a los demás solidario okay solidary solid no yeah also you can say also helpful too Super. yeah and how do you say in english educado Polite. Polite. That's, yes, that's perfect. So in that case, polite. It's, it's educado, right? And it's important to be polite. And also we have another one. It's the very, very interesting to say that we call in English. Sincero. How do you say sincero in English? Sincero. Okay, sincere. Yeah, yeah sincere. It's, Not it's sincere. Good. And that's right. And also we have some other adjectives like uh, admirable, original, enthusiastic, brilliant, disciplined, outstanding, imaginative, appreciative, and courteous, pleasant, trustful. So we, there are incredible adjectives that we can take into account, especially when we are um, uh, talking about people. And also you have your own qualities, right? Yes, you have your a big list of qualities. Yes or not? Why? Yes. 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 We have yes. a big yes. list of qualities. Yeah, we have a, a big list of personal qualities. All of us, we we have, so we feel like encouraged. Entonces todos tenemos muchas cualidades. Tenemos muchas cualidades que nos caracterizan como personas. Algunas las tenemos visibles, otras posiblemente no las veamos, pero las personas sí las ven, right? So, so we can see, like, some people can see our qualities, and we don't see our qualities. It does sometimes happen, but we had to always show that we are great people. Okay, so in this case, we will take this short time to do that one. What is the ideal parent, friend, or partner like? What is one quality? So in your in a notebook, in your notebook, you had to write, for example, the ideal parent, this person should be, and you had to include the qualities that you consider your pa a parent uh, should have or should contain or should be. Entonces, eh, tienen que elegir aquellas, aquellos adjetivos que un, un padre ideal debería de tener. Y usted saca una gran lista, right? Our ideal friend and also an ideal partner. And at the same time, you will also talk about the negative negative aspects that perhaps a person in, perhaps is, has, for example. And also we have a, a negative qualities too. I mean, we're not talking about qualities. Negative adjectives like ignorant, impatient, impulsive, indecisive, inflexible, inhibited, insecure, negative. So there are uh, some negative adjectives that perhaps people have. And those are called negative personality adjectives. Así como hay positive, we, all, we also have negative too. And uh, qualities of a person, negative and positive qualities. So you can take this short time to discuss about this one. I will give you uh, some minutes to make a shorter list about these adjectives. Meanwhile, you're thinking about what adjectives you would like to include. I'm just going to share with you guys by WhatsApp um, a list of vocabulary that can help you to have some ideas about it. So if you allow me one second, I can share with you guys this information and don't forget that if you have questions, um, don't hesitate to ask. You can answer. Pues si tiene preguntas, hágalas. Eh, participe. Don't be afraid. And do your best. One second, please. Do you have dinner? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Amazing. Yes. So oh, after yes, class, you go to bed. You sleep. <laughs> yes, we need some rest. Yeah, we need. Yeah, yes. we need. Yeah, we need to get energy for tomorrow's work. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm sending you guys here the 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 vocabulary so you can see some positive qualities and also some negative qualities too. So let's take a short time to write some valuable details about that. Okay, if you see in the part B, you can see some examples. For example, I think the ideal parent is someone who is easygoing. I agree the ideal parent is someone who doesn't get upset easily and who isn't temperamental. I'm not sure I agree. So there are like examples. No, ah, me mandó un audio que, que no, ella no mandaba. Apague el audio. The microphone. ¿Y qué le decía en el audio? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Maybe it was a secret. Big wire, co worker. <laughs> Okay, almost ready. One moment, please, teacher. Amazing. Okay, don't worry.
I'm ready, teacher. Okay, thank you. Someone else says ready to. Okay, who else is ready? I'm ready, teacher. Amazing. We have two. Okay, so what we have to do, guys, is we will open some breakup rooms. And with your groups, you will discuss uh, this exercise. You will have the opportunity to talk and practice English. As you know, it's really important to study, you know, this vocabulary, to write, to get some ideas. But what's the most valuable is to express yourself. This time you can speak English and try to communicate in English. As you know, because you are pre-advanced, Try to speak in English. Try to express your ideas in English, no matter if we make mistakes, because the reasons why we are here is because we are studying, we're practicing. So when we go on the breakup rooms, speak English. Try. That's why we are here, because we can uh, go be John about exercises. Entonces, tratemos de hablar inglés porque ese es el objetivo. Aprovechemos. Y uno de los mejores recursos para el idioma es que usted lo pueda hablar, que usted pueda expresarse. Y si nos equivocamos, por eso estamos aquí, right? Because we need to practice. So don't be afraid. Just like go and try and practice. If you have some doubts or equations, you, you have the freedom to ask questions. And I wish you good luck with that. Well, let's, let's uh, create a breakup rooms and let's see how many members we have right here. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, let's make a small groups. All right, you have exactly five minutes to discuss your ideas about ideal parent, ideal friend, and ideal partner, okay? Be ready to have access to the breakup room. Let's go. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good luck.
la uno, y, porque ya a estas alturas tenemos que aprender ya a practicar. Sí, sí, el problema, el problema es nosotros hemos traído la, la, los teachers que hemos tenido y nos han, nos han dejado valiendo. O sea, estoy diciendo que el padre tiene que ser eh, honesto, sincero, político, o sea, educado, a, a, cariñoso, que es affectional, eh, understable, comprensible y respectful, respetuoso. So, uh, uh, in the friends, uh, loyal, mm -hmm. funny, collaborate, oh. respectful, mm -hmm. y, and, uh, par, ¿vale? ¿Cómo se pronuncia la diferencia entre padres y pareja? Partner. Pa and parent. Parent. Partner. Parent. Partner. Ok. Eh, Parent. Loving. Loving. Amoroso. Sincere. Funny. Eh, Parent. Communicate. Parent. Y respectful. Eh, for me, es the most important quality que tiene que tener una yes, pareja. Loving. Ya loving. lo demás en el camino se puede ir forjando, pero de entrada, con eso ah. avanzamos. <laughs> The top, the top. <laughs> sí, 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 lo demás en el camino. Ok, Dina. What do you think? Dina Elizabeth Flores. Excuse me, es que sí ha venido algunas ah. personas y tengo ah. un, un perrito ahí que, no worry, no que le agarra la locura, pero... Eh, ah. Había, yo había puesto solamente una característica de cada una porque así okay. había comprendido pero en eh, yeah. parents mm -hmm. this eh, person should be eh, respectful and should should don't be irresponsible mm -hmm. and friends eh, friendly yes and Don Bees eh, sería Lear. La mentirosa. No sé que así se pronuncia. Liar. Liar. Ah, liar. liar. Ajá, como no mentiroso. Ajá, mentiroso. Liar. Ajá, liar. Ok, and partner. Eh, sí, sir. And Don eh, would fight for. Ok. Ok. Y en Idol Person. Uh, this character is uh, sincere, respectful, honest, and punctual. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think so, uh, the, the, the last three, no sé cómo decir, the, the last three categories, the three categories, uh, I consider it to, to, como podemos decir, eh, que para mí, for me, eh, ¿cómo se dice Santiago? ¿Qué más se repite? ¿Qué más se repite? Ah, ya dijo el teacher. Ah, hi, hi, teacher. <risa> the most common. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Most common, el the most common. El, uh -huh. the, the most common. The most common. The most important. Ajá, the most common. The most common. For me, is, the most important is, is respect, respectful. Okay. Eh, que sea respetuoso yes. creo que es lo más importante de ahí yes. que por lo menos es, estoy eh, I can I can, quiero decir que yo estoy bien que yo veo ¿no? como dice teacher cómo se dice que yo he visto en mis listados uh, that I, I can, have seen o oh, I, I have observed seen, that I have seen in my lids Santiago, okay. eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué consideras que es la cualidad más importante? What is your most important quality that all leads? Oh, well, I, I agree with, that, with you because uh, the respect, respectful is the most important for me. Mm, me too. Me yes, too. yes, the respect. For, for example, but with my, with my, neighbor, my neighbor uh, the respect is the most important for me. 
don't, don't, don't fight. No, no tenemos peleas aquí cerca por eso, porque tratamos la manera de que llevarla en paz. ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, yeah. the most important for me is respectful. Please. It, it, it's important because the uh, it's important is to maintain un lenguaje correcto, teacher. You can to help keep, me help me to keep teacher. an appropriate language. You have to keep an appropriate language. Yes. It's, to keep it's important an language. to keep to... the proper language. is important. Uh, uh, because uh, because uh, para mantener una una buena relación sin importar cuál yeah yeah it's important yeah it's important to have a better relationship right a good yeah, community it's important, it's important yeah. learn. thank you teacher okay, I like okay. that to keep and Teacher, I have a question. Hi, tell me. What's the meaning goody goody? What word is that? Goody goody. How do you spell it? A G O O D Y. It's but it's not uh, W O O D. No. Con un G de gato. Write it here. Goody. Write it in the I chat. Could. Write it sí. in the chat. G O O D Y. Ah, goody. You say goody. Yes, goody. Oh, it's like, like G O O D Y, right? So I understand that. Say, uh -huh, what's the meaning? Goody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, goody, goody, goody is like good. It's related to uh, something fantastic, excellent. Pero por qué? Porque está en las negativas, las cualidades negativas. Mm, it shouldn't be. Um, it shouldn't be negative side. For example, if you look um, goody goody. So in Spanish, it's like bueno. Sorry, me quedé en la luna. <laughs> um, it's positive, so it's not negative that word. It's a mistake in the list. Perhaps, perhaps. So we will double check this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, because I'm it's sorry. not negative. I'm sorry. In, in Espérame. My en, la, en, la, en la imagen que usted mandó dice negative personality. Okay. In my opinion, it could be negative because I think goody goody is like a person is too much good. So <laughs> that person could be not honest with his attitude. I think. Oh. Perhaps, yeah, unless that, the yeah, it's because there are two kind of goodies. If you use only one, it's positive. But if you use two, 
goody goody in that case is a little negative because the Spanish meaning is like, I don't know if you have heard the word santurron. Have you heard about this word? Yes, I, I heard. It's yeah, good. in este caso, cuando, yeah. cuando van las dos juntas, in este caso, se convierte negative. Pero cuando solo es una, it's not bad. It's actually good. But woody woody, in that case, es como decir self radost or santurron. Mm -hmm. I got it, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Thank that's you, why, teacher. because I, I saw in the chat only one. In that case, when we have two, yeah, it's a little bit negative, right? Yes. Okay, so let's continue with the activities. I would like to congratulate guys because um, I have seen a, a great improvement and also I could listen some of you speaking, uh, trying to communicate and, and I feel good. That's the way. Speak English. Try, try, try. That's the most important. Um, sometimes some people, when they are in the process to go to advance because in intermediate, you, you are learning, you are learning. And pre-advanced is like you go beyond your English level. And the most important is that you produce the language. Sometimes we focus about writing, but also speaking, it's a priority. It's a plus. Okay, it says about a best friend. Talk about your best friend and then write a paragraph. Example, my best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feelings. She's a person who is very supportive and always listens to my problems. Is a person that always is with me and always encourages me to do the best. She always um, visit me at home and she gives me some advice when I need it. So you can start uh, thinking about a friend, focus about a best friend. And what I want you to do is to write in a short paragraph, could be like five lines, four lines, four or five lines, uh, not too much because of the time is not enough. But at least you can summarize in a couple of minutes and something interesting about your friend, like the examples that we have right there. Like my best friend mm -hmm. is someone who is sensitive about my feelings. She's a person who is very supportive and always listens to my problems. Entonces va a tomar este espacio para escribir en un pequeño párrafo de que el máximo cuatro líneas, porque no tenemos mucho tiempo, eh, hablando acerca de su mejor amigo. Could be a boy, could be a girl, so you know, man, a woman, so you, it's up to you. So you can like summarize about your best friend. And um, you have the freedom to ask questions. Also, you can use the chat to ask questions about vocabulary. If you are not sure about if a sentence is correct or not, you can ask questions too. Si tiene dudas, también puede preguntar. Eh, me escribe aquí en el chat y pues yo le ayudo. Okay, así que, eh, is that clear this activity? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Great yes, job, teacher. guys. So, yes. like, okay, focus and inspire about your best friend and describe something interesting about my best friend. In my case, my, my best friend is always with me. Uh, I trust in my friend. We sometimes uh, play basketball when we have a free time. We always uh, communicate each other. So we are talking about important things about your best friend. Okay, let's go work on that one. I will give you five minutes to do that one. And then we will uh, share your personal information about it.
Sí, yo igual lo café y a mí me quita el pan. Oh, students, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. We will take advantage of our time and I will pass the attendance list. So, you listen your name and say present, please. Okay. I think you have your turn, turn up your microphone, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I, I was looking for the list. <laughs> okay, so let's see here the first one. Okay, we call to uh, Brigitte Lisette. Eraso. Present, teacher. Thanks. Present. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Thanks. Uh, Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Eh, Edith Araceli Guzmán. Present teacher. Eh, Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present teacher. Thanks. Emerson Alexander Mejia. Present. Eneida Jamilet Gonzalez. Present. Eh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. 
Perfecto. Javier Ernesto Lucero, Presente. Karen Suleima Ceseña, Present. Present. ok, eh, Laura Michelle Arce, Present teacher. María Catalina Corea, Present. eh, Marvin Fernando Marcel, Present teacher. Thanks. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Thanks. Um, Raquel Arely Santos. Present. Santiago Antonio Chávez. Present teacher. Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Okay, almost ready or not yet? Ready. Yes, ready, we're ready. Teacher. Oh, wow. ready, teacher. that's awesome. Much better for me. Okay, so we will uh, work in, in pairs and you will read a little bit about your best friend as the examples we saw before in the screen. You had to describe specifically this part, right? That we can also talk about our friends. The instruction says that we have to talk about your best friend and then explain to your partners about this activity. So let's work in the breaker rooms. We will have less than five minutes to express in a briefly way, you know, your information. So we're going to, we're going to make the groups smaller, like two or three members each at least. So good luck in practice. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Respectful, respectful, um, a bit serious. Yes. Sí, pensé, pensé que nos había sacado, perdón, pensé que me había mandado. Ah, va. Perdón, eh, my best friend is sincere, friendly, um, respectful, a bit serious. She always, uh, uh -huh. she always thinks about helping others, but she's very reserved. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, Edith, Edith, in your case. Mm 
Saying microphone. Sorry. Microphone. <laughs> uh, in my case, my ideal friends um, uh, the Debe ser, no sé cómo decir. Uh, must be a may, um, intimate. Must be intimate. Um, and kin. Um, uh, quiero ver. I don't know. No sé, no sé qué más decir. Sí, sí. 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 Sí, Personal quality. Really. De la lista podía elegir. El sí, libro. sí, de la lista. Ah, eh, ahorita voy a, a revisarlo. Eh, personal quality. Really. Vamos ah. a ver qué más tiene. Uh -huh. eh. uh -huh. Must be, must be happy. <laughs> yes. Um, um, must be responsibly. Responsibly. Um, 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 must be original. Original. Mm. Mm. Loyal, loyal, discreet, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm brilliant, 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 ah, brilliant, and yeah, yeah, brilliant, okay, okay. yeah. Eso es todo. Only. Finish. Hoy sí. Finish. Finish. Sí, sí, cabal. No hay que pedirle mucho.
Okay, students. Well, congratulations for the work done. And something that I really like about this class is that you have the opportunity to express yourself, to express your ideas, your thoughts, and also use critical thinking in a different context. Tomorrow, we will be focusing a little bit more about grammar, about writing, about vocabulary in every single class. And also because the class was very interesting uh, because you were socializing some personal answers. You will have as part of the homework in your free time these exercises that we will share at the beginning of the class tomorrow. In that case, you have to check some vocabulary like perspective quiz. Do you get annoyed easily? And we have some statements like, I don't like it. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. If you get annoyed, you give a, a check. If not, in blank. It bothers me when, I, when a teacher forgets my name. Check annoyed or not. You can also work in this quiz. Um, I hate it when people talk with their mouth. Or it upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. Or I can't stand it when people talk loudly to each other during a movie. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. I can't stand it when, it, when a child screams in a restaurant. Or it bothers me uh, when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. So you will analyze and you will give a check if you are annoyed or not about these situations. Also, um, I will explain tomorrow a little bit the use of the closest eat and the very closest with when. It's pretty easy, but I will take this time to explain you this one in the class early. So, uh, well, I really appreciate guys for the work done and congratulations because you have been doing a great job today. And uh, I wish you a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. It was Thank a pleasure. Teacher. Thank, you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you, guys. Good night. Congratulations. Good night. Yeah, great job. Thank you.